So show my fair too, how's it, how's it? I hope you are good, I hope you are good. So today I'll be sharing a tip, Nyana, which I use frequently. This is a mixing tip and how I use it anyways, because people use this type kind of tip differently. You know? So uh, before before <laughs> before I, I get into this, I want to talk about the listening session. Guys, we had a listening session last week. I think it last was last week. It was dope. Now the thing is I've been getting a lot of tracks on my email. People are telling me to give it back. Give it guys, don't send me any tracks. Don't send me any tracks now. I'll let you know at the end of the video when we'll hold our listening session. I'll let you know. So but what I'd advise is you guys to just be subscribed and click the notification bell. But at the end of the video, I'll let you know when we we'll hold our listening session. Just make sure to, to stay tuned. So okay, well, let's get into let's get into this thing. So here I have a track that I've been working on. So the first thing is first, why do we have two side chain? Now if you listen here to this bass and kick, this is my bass here. Yeah. So I'll play this bass around about here yeah, for you guys to see what I'm talking about. So this is the bass line. So if you check my bass line, the bass frequency is here at that sub and bass are uh, situated around, let's just check, we have around 6 to 7 here. Yeah. So now we have to check a kick, um, kick. You see? So when these things play at the same time, they'll always be fighting for us as bass. So the trick that you have to use is, is side chaining. Now side chaining, how do I explain it? In simple terms, if you've listened to a radio enough, you'll definitely understand what side chaining is. So the radio, radio plays at a certain, certain frequency, a radio, the FM radio you usually listen to. So when the radio DJ plays a song there, they always talk before the song or talk after the song or during the song. So what the DJ does is that once he speaks while the song is on full blast, you'll never get to hear him or you'll never get to hear the song clearly. So the DJ will turn down the volume of the song and then talk. We all know this, guys, but we didn't think of it as the exact same technique that we're going to use here. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to turn down the volume each and every time the, 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 the kick plays. When my kick hits, the volume of my bass will go down. That's the exact basic way of how to understand the side chaining, like the easiest way. When the radio DJ talks, the volume of the song goes down. When the, DJ, when the DJ stops talking, the volume of the song goes back up. That's the basic idea anyways. So now that's what I've done here also. Maybe you won't get to hear the difference, but let me show you here. So what happens here on this graph? Let me first explain it. We'll, I'll do this thing from scratch once again, but I want you to understand it first. So what happens here is that this purple patches here on this white kind of graph. Let me zoom this thing back in. This is when the volume is taken down from the baseline. And then during that time, this is where the kick is in. You see these patches, they're making space for the kick. If you can feel the rhythm, the kick, it boom, 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 boom. That's when the kick is playing. So there's no, there's less volume. It's not like 100% down. Maybe even if you could do that, if that's how you'd want it like to kill the whole volume so how do i do this thing how do we do this thing so let's just go back let's remove this one delete that so what you want to want to do is to take this thing here and let's remove that so this is my channel for the kick and channel 24 22 is for the base so we want to take the information of the kick and send it to this channel of a, a base yeah. so i'm going to click here channel 22 Base. I'm going to right click here and say side chain to this track. After you side chain it, you can see there's that little string there. I'll call it a string or whatever. That's basically is what's supposed to be in a cable if it was hardware. So this would take the information of this kick here and take it to that channel. 
so when you get to this channel uh, then you go to the base so you add your compressor so we'll be using fruity limiter to do this thing so when you get here to fruity limiter just do that then you go here to compression compression you right click and say insert one this is my kick since my kick is insert one if i'd send something else here it will be return nexus what what thing so from there you listen once again so now you see there's no purple patch there's nothing here so there's nothing x happening to the base so what you want to do first is to take down your threshold now you get to use your ear how it sounds by increasing your ratio can see there's a little bit now on to a listening session so how i do a listening session how i will be doing a listening session guys is that i'll do a live stream and on the live stream i won't say when i'll do the live stream i'll probably do it anytime i feel like doing it and i won't say when you guys should send the tracks i'll just do the live stream i'm doing this because i've noticed that we would be reviewing tracks of people who are not even there on the, or who are not even watching because they sent tracks long time ago, didn't watch anything, or I don't know. If that's wrong, you can let me know. If you think there's a better way I should do this, you can let me know. But I feel like whoever is, would be watching at that particular time deserves their track to be heard. That's why I'm going to just do the live stream anytime. So make sure to have your notification bell click this so that you see notification every time i upload every time i go live make sure to have subscribed because that will be easier for you to see what we are doing but for now thank you guys thank you i hope you learned something if there's nothing you if there's something that you didn't get clearly just make sure to let me know in the comment section i'll be there to help you salute